News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, in just about three minutes, we will officially welcome in the season of summer. The uh, summer solstice hits at exactly 6.51. Uh, this morning, and that's when we're going to be transitioning officially into the summer season, if you want to keep the exact track of it. But today will not be feeling like summer whatsoever. In fact, the temperatures will be on the order of about 10 degrees cooler than our averages for this time of the year. And that's because we'll be seeing mostly cloudy skies in a lot of places and a few showers rolling through. Now, right now we're looking live from Gettysburg. It's not raining here yet. In some other areas we are seeing the rain, but it is uh, quite cloudy in the area in Adams County, especially 66 degrees right now in Gettysburg. The dew points into the low 50s, but coming up because we have rain approaching the region, 60% uh, relative humidity at this time. Winds are calm, although yesterday we had a northerly wind which gave us all that dry air. But now we're seeing more of a northeasterly wind, and we're also seeing these showers working their way in from the uh, east, from the west northwest, I should say, down to the southeast, running right along a boundary which is positioned to our south. But the rain. Off and on at times as we go throughout the rest of the morning hours and into this afternoon. And really, the heaviest rainfall, if you want to call it that, more pockets of moderate here into the northern part of Franklin County, heading into uh, probably around the Cumberland County area, just south of Newville. You see that little pat batch of yellow there uh, running up I 81. Elsewhere, a little farther to the north, another one of those batches of moderate rainfall east of Port Royal and heading into the Liverpool area at this time. Uh, some light rain falling around Harrisburg and then down 283 into Lancaster County, Chester County in the southern end. Also, seen a little bit of rain at this time. And again, this rain is moving down to the southeast. And you notice when we plot the visible imagery on here, a lot of sunshine actually breaking out here in the northern parts of the Susquehanna Valley. So today won't be mostly cloudy for everyone. If you're seeing the showers and the clouds right now, you will likely see them pretty much throughout the rest of this morning and into the early parts of this afternoon. So we will call it mostly cloudy, but again, north and east of Harrisburg, a better chance at seeing more sunshine and less rain. Scattered showers elsewhere and unseasonably cool temperatures for this time of the year, 70 to 76 for the high. The average Average high this time of the year is 83 degrees, so quite a bit cooler than that. Uh, into tonight, partly cloudy skies, comfortably cool. We'll pretty much shut off the rainmakers for the overnight hours. Lows dropping down into the upper 50s. And uh, as we go into the second half of the weekend and the first full day of summer, it will feel a little bit better for us. Partly sunny skies and those highs, uh, 80 to 84 degrees. So getting a little bit closer to those seasonal levels. And of course, today is the longest day of the year. First day of summer, 15 hours and three minutes of sunshine from the sunrise to the sunset. And contrasting that to the first day of winter, we only see nine hours and 18 minutes. So from here, until we get into the winter, we're going to be seeing those days becoming a little bit shorter each and every day on the order of a one to two minutes each day. So, yeah, longest day of the year. Get out and enjoy it if you can. Maybe pack the umbrella today because we have those showers around. Weathering your health forward this afternoon. Moderate pollen levels. Mold levels are down to low. Air quality is good today. And that UV index is at a five, although if you live north and east of Harrisburg, probably a little bit higher with more, uh, a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Right now, those temperatures sitting in the low to mid 60s down where we're seeing the clouds. Clouds and the showers. So you go to Harrisburg, 66 right now, 65 around the Chambersburg area. But uh, where we're seeing the clear skies this morning and, and getting away from that rain, Shamokin at 53 degrees right now, Mifflintown 55. So a little cooler in that uh, drier, clearer skies, I should say, a little farther north. Harrisburg, that rain and that rain line really just a couple of miles north of Harrisburg and stretching off to the northwest. Gettysburg right now, not seeing the rain, but you will probably within the next half hour or so as this batch of showers continues its trek down to the southeast. But notice there is a little bit of clearing back to around Pittsburgh. So this is not going to be a complete washout for us. And there may be improving conditions as we go into the second half of today. But I've stopped the clock here, 4 o'clock this afternoon. And we start to see those clouds filtering or drying out from north to south heading through the uh, evening hours. So probably a little bit of sunshine breaking out for folks that have been in the clouds all day. And that will take us into the overnight hours. And it looks like a little bit of fog tries to form in some areas. We'll have to watch for that. Uh, but overall, as we go into tomorrow afternoon, things looking better. I don't actually think uh, this is going going to occur. Predictors showing a couple of showers around. I think they're more likely in the western part of the state and out of our area. You get some of those higher terrain popping some of those showers there. Into Monday, starting off with a bit of fog and temperatures warming up into the 80s and most of the shower activity again in the western part of the state. But for today, the Beach and Bay forecast, 
a little on the rainy side. 70s at the uh, beaches here, and on the bay will be near 82 degrees overall. But into tomorrow, a better day, we'll see the upper 70s near the beaches, a little bit of ocean water influence cooling things down there. And then on the bay, 83 degrees. So overall, a much more comfortable one for the second half of the weekend if your travel plans take you down there. A little closer to home as we go into tomorrow, 82 degrees, milder weather for us. And then we actually see even warmer temps going into next week, but we also see the chances for more showers and thunderstorms. Uh, best chance for that will be on Wednesday. Hope you got out of mow the grass yesterday. That's right, yeah. Because <laughs> we have the rain today, but if you didn't get a chance to mow the grass, tomorrow's your day. But let's look on the bright side here. It's only going to be 72 and not 90 on the first day of <laughs> summer. Right. So, all right, I, I tried to spin it for if you. One, one little <laughs> consolation prize there. Had more, thank you.